And I turn around and I see I see Anna leaning forward and there's blood. And I'm like, Anna, 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 Anna. I couldn't believe I did that. I don't know why I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I think there's a lot to look at here. Dr. Carol yeah. Lieberman, what are you seeing? Yes, what are you hearing? Yes. Well, I think the uh, psychiatric uh, disorder that he has is delusions of grandeur. Um, he is testifying as if he were on TikTok. And without an expectation of his audience, you know, finding fault or, or not believing what he's saying. Um, this, you know, I don't know where he would think that this would, would, would get him off the hook. Um, maybe it's true what he's saying, you know, I didn't, well, they had actually both, each of them had betrayed the other, they had cheated on each other. So it's kind of strange that he would say, I didn't think she would do that. But in any case, um, you know, nothing that he is saying re relieves him of, of being guilty for her death. And uh, it's really, it's like <clears throat> OJ, you know, it's one of these things where, um, where he finally did see that she was not going to go back with him, even though he said the other, but finally he got the message and so he killed her. You know, he, he couldn't mm -hmm. be abandoned by her. Walk us through what was going through your mind at that moment when you just had this experience, you just shot two people and you see Daniel. Well, immediately he's talking, hey, oh, hey, I've been looking for you. Uh, I got your voicemail, it was really funny. Um, sorry, I haven't been able to communicate with you these last few days. You know what? I'll take the elevator with you. And I'm holding the door. I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. We'll talk later. No, no. He's like, no, don't be silly. Just, just, I'll, I'll come with you. So at this point, I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. I'm freaking out. I'm like, this is not the right time to be talking. So I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not trying to startle anybody. So I had a smile on my face. I'm being playful, you know. But it, it's just freaking out because eventually as he's bombarding me with these questions I look at him and I go stop asking me questions it scared everybody in the elevator Dr. Carol Lieberman what'd you think? Yes it's like a Jekyll and Hyde you know he's right mm -hmm. on edge and um, you know um, he, he, here's somebody who he, 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 I, I do believe that he actually is sad that she's dead, you know, but, um, but, and this passenger in my own body, that's a very good line, but it doesn't seem believable. He's not connected to it. You know, he's trying to say that I was, it was an out of body experience because he's trying to, to say that he was not in his right mind, but um, it doesn't ring true. I just hope that the jury sees through all these theatrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and Dr. Carol Lieberman, it's, it's the jury, like, what are your thoughts about the jury and how they could react to somebody like this who they know what he did, and what he's accused of, um, and is so out there, is like just like in your face in the courtroom? Well, you know, I think that they can see too a little bit of how he wishes she wasn't dead. But um, but there's so much extra, you know. Um, it's this narcissistic injury, this narcissistic wound. How dare she go out with other guys and sleep with other guys and all that? I think the longer he's on the stand, the worse it is for him. Mm -hmm. Well, he's on there a long time, so that's not, that's not uh, faring well. What? What did you just say? That's what you were researching. Oh, correct. Say it again. Teen porn videos. You're out of your mind. On October 19th, you were researching Sean Torres, correct? Show me the team you just said. You want to pay me some kind of I'm going to show me what, 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 show me what, what you just said. I've never seen that in the discovery. I've been incarcerated three years. You never showed that to my, my team. Where did you get that? It's in your phone. Do show it. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Carol Lieberman, that's being displayed for this jury, is the anger. How quickly it comes out and you go like zero all the way up here in an instant, then could yes. you imagine walking in and seeing your wife yes. with another man? Right, like he said, he snapped. You know, it was very smart 
for the prosecutor to have a woman cross examine him. He has such rage towards women and he's showing it towards her. Uh, obviously he showed it towards his wife. And what's interesting is he apparently called his mother after he killed his wife and confessed to her mo his mother and showed her uh, photos of the bodies. Now that is very twisted and clearly the, the origin of his problem with women has to do with his relationship with his mother. It always, it comes back to mom. Okay, yes, this is, I mean, this is an unusual moment, really unusual because he's acknowledging all of this. His argument in court is gonna be for a lowered uh, a mental state. So it's not um, the, the ultimate you know, life without parole. Uh, but Dr. Carol Lieberman, how about here where he's talking about shooting and killing the mother of his child? Well, you know, a part of him um, really does, is shocked that he did it. Uh, this would work as a defense if it was like the first time that he was ever violent towards his wife. But in fact, there was a history of domestic violence. So it's hard to believe that he was that shocked. I mean, yes, this time he took a gun and shot her in the head, but um, still you can't, it, it wasn't that much of a surprise. It was an escalation. Dr. Carol Lieberman, you know, it always comes back to the why of it, right? He, he knows he has a child. He knows if he kills his estranged wife, that child will grow up without a mother and likely without a father. How does someone get there to that point? Well, you know, there were, it, was, it has been growing, it was growing. He was getting more and more angry at his wife, more and more feeling that he was losing her. You know, she locked him out of the house. Um, and, and he wasn't really thinking of his daughter at that time. Uh, he was thinking more of himself and, and you know, how could she do this to me is really what it was all about. Uh, so, so, you know, it was, it was like separation. He separated what would happen with his daughter and how that would be very unfortunate and so on uh, because he was just thinking about himself. And I, I again, I hope that, uh, I mean, I think I think it would be better uh, if he had more people like your other guest on the jury. She would be much more compassionate than I would be, apparently. <laughs> but um, but so, and I think also, yes, I agree that, that men are going to see him more clearly than the women will. Well, it's great to have both of you on. I know your time is valuable and we'd really appreciate it.